Okay, let's keep this show moving along now. Let's come back over to Sweden. Now, Sweden's kind of an interesting case. Uh, back then, sometime during the summer, they switched from a 7-day reporting cycle, the COVID-19 data, to a 4-day reporting cycle. So now, since midsummer, they've only been reporting Tuesday to Friday, which, of course, means that uh, mo uh, 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 Tuesday has includes Saturday, Sunday, Monday numbers, okay? But as you're going to see, it doesn't really make any difference. The, the numbers are still overall, well, at least up the last few weeks have been very good. Okay, let's take a look over here then. Let's take a look at always at the vaccine data. So if you take a look at Sweden's COVID-19 vaccine data, you can see that they've administered 170 or 17.05 million doses, okay? And of those, 7.7 million have, been, have received the full shot, but only, uh, well, 7.32 million have been fully vaccinated. This gives them the vaccine, first shot vaccination rate is 75.8%. And a full vaccination rate of about 72.1%. Okay. So those are pretty doggone good numbers for Sweden. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at Sweden's uh, numbers now. You can see that uh, 2021 cases for Sweden have passed 2020 cases. But here's the good news. And that is that the 2021 COVID-19 deaths for Sweden will not come close to catching 2020 deaths, okay? Now, see these spikes? These are the, these are the Tuesday numbers, which include Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday's numbers. Because of the spike, we don't actually know what the daily numbers are. So therefore, we're not really concerned with this number over here, or really concerned with this blue line. And unfortunately, well, you can see a nice long decline pattern here during the spring and summer, a spike up towards August, another decline. But now look at this. Look back up. Look, look how the trend line has moved back up now. It's it's, uh, it's uh, right about over here. Okay. What about even on a 14 moving average, you can still see this big spike here. Okay. But the good news is the last two weeks were down. So here you can see for uh, the 14-day period ending December 19th, uh, we were U.S. Sweden was averaging 2,361.9 cases per day. Now, what about deaths for Sweden? Now you can look over here, see this nice long continued low trend in COVID-19 deaths in Sweden. And now you can see the the COVID-19 deaths over here. So you can see, Sweden, that you're currently averaging 4.1 deaths per day for the previous 14 days, okay? This here, of course, is just uh, weekly cases. What about monthly cases? Well, you had relatively low numbers over through here, but then the last two, but unfortunately, your cases are going to, you're going to finish the year with an increase in cases for December, okay? Hopefully, this is, hopefully this is just a one-month uh, increase. We're going to begin to see the numbers, the cases falling in Sweden again here very soon. Now, what about deaths? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row, Sweden, you had a you had a you had decline in COVID-19 deaths. Then you had a bit of a spike. Now is a good chance that December is going to be the third month in a row when you see a decline in COVID-19 deaths in Sweden. Also meaning you're fin you're finishing up the year with a down on a uh, riding the downtrend. Okay. So anyway, Sweden, that concludes your cases, your report for today. Let's just get this wrapped up here. 
and move on to the to star of the show, which is the U.S. And we're rounding third, and we're heading for home. 